a game dev secret about colors. Choosing colors for your art in a pixel art game is extremely important, since you're working with a limited color palette. And there's a super cool trick for picking better colors that I'll show you using a new, extremely adorable enemy from my game, Isadora's Edge. Here are two versions of his sprite. He's supposed to be like a little Birdman thief type of guy. Anyway, which version do you think looks better? The one on the bottom, right? Now they're both good, don't get me wrong, and if you wanted a really pale bird, you could choose the top one, but it feels a little washed out. The one on the bottom feels a lot more vibrant and pleasing to the eye. And the secret behind that is called hue shifting. When you're making pixel art, you have to pick different shades for different colors. Let's use our bird boy as an example. You'll obviously have a base color, but you'll also need a highlight color where the light is hitting, shadow color, and then let's also use a deeper shadow color too for a little more detailing in the darker areas. But how did we pick those different shades? Well, if you do the most obvious thing and simply increase the brightness for the highlights and decrease it for the shadows, you end up with the washed out look in his sprite. That's where hue shifting comes in. When you pick a highlight color, you don't simply increase the brightness, you also shift the actual hue of the color towards the color of the light. Most of the time, this means you want to shift towards yellow to mimic sunlight. You also want to decrease the saturation of the colors to simulate the color being a little bit more washed out from the light. Then, when picking shadow colors, you shift the hue away from the color of the light. For the case of my bird boy, that means shifting towards purple. And when hue shifting to a darker color, you'll want to increase the saturation, so it's like the opposite of a highlight. It sounds simple, and it is. But even just a slight hue shift in your colors can bring a lot of life to your sprite work. So if you're trying to improve your pixel art, give hue shifting a try.